Hello, my name is Carrie Diamond, and today we're going to be talking about streams. Here is the type of a stream. A stream is a cons of a single value of type dash a, and a function from a unit to the next stream, which also has type dash a stream. Notice here that a stream is a little bit like an infinite linked list, where instead of containing a pointer to the next element in the linked list, it contains a function that will calculate the next element in the stream. Notice the thunk in our computation. We use this to delay the computation of the stream's tail so that it won't overflow. Since the stream is an infinite list, we do not want the OCaml to be trying to compute every element in the stream right at the beginning, so this will allow us to only compute the next element in the stream when we actually need it. Let's look at defining a stream of natural numbers. This is a stream that begins at the integer n equals 0 and counts up. So first, let's define the stream from, which can begin at any integer n and count up from it. Since this is having type int to int stream, we are going to have it be a cons. Notice that the first element of the cons is the value at the current position in the stream, which of course is going to be n. Now, to get the function to the next position in the stream, we note that from n is defined as the stream from n to all integers after it. So from n plus 1 is defined as the stream from n plus 1 to all integers after it, which is exactly what we want in this case. Now that we have from defined, nats is just defined as from 0. And you can type this into utop if you would like and see that it works. Now let's write some functions on streams. Head and tail are pretty similar to the head and tail for lists. Head is of course going to return a value, and the, that value being the current element of the stream, so in this case just hd, whereas tail is going to return the stream that the stream points to through its tail function. We cannot just write tf for this, because this would be the entire function, including the thunk. So we want to evaluate the tail function by putting a set of parentheses after it. Now let's try writing take and drop. Take is a list of the first n elements in the stream s, whereas drop is all but the first n elements in s. Notice the types of these functions. We're both taken in int and a stream. Take is going to return a finite list, whereas drop is going to return another infinite stream. Take a moment to think about what the solutions to these two functions would be. Now let's discuss how these functions are written. For take, the base case is if n equals 0, then we're returning an empty list. This makes sense because taking 0 elements from a stream should always return an empty list. In our recursive case, we want to first take the element at the current point in the stream, which we get using our head function. This should be const onto the list of every other element in the stream. To get this list, we want to recursively apply take, decrement n by 1 to show that we've already obtained one element, and pass it tail s as the stream. This will move us to the next element in the stream, and call take on that. Drop is extremely similar, except that instead of saving the current element in the stream, we are going to completely ignore it and simply return the stream from starting from the next element as soon as drop becomes zero. Run through the logic of these and make sure that they make sense. You can also try it out on Utop. Now let's look at map. This is perhaps the most important stream function, as you can use it to implement many more complicated operations to turn the stream of natural numbers into a more complex stream. Map is going to take in a function from dash a to dash b, a stream with elements of type dash a, and return a dash b stream. So when we're writing map function, what we first want to note is the return type. Since the return type is a stream, we want to set up our cons. Now we want to figure out the value at the current position in this cons. By definition, the first each value is going to simply have the function f applied to it. So we want to apply f to the value of our current stream, which is h. 
Now, to get our tail function, it helps to note that map itself is returning a stream. So we can use map as the next element in the stream. Once you figure this out, it becomes very simple. We're going to call map, we're going to pass it the same exact function, and we want to call it on the rest of the stream, which we get by evaluating our tail function. Thank you for listening, and let me know if there are any questions.